Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, big haired saint artist. We're gonna do an eyeshadow tutorial. It's just a really simple, easy eye. And I thought, why don't I show my friends? So here I am showing my friends. All right, so here are the colors. I've got Drift, of course, Peppa, Bubba, and Coco. Really easy, I'm gonna use the eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna clean it off Ooh, on my little cleaning tile here. I've already prepped my lids. You can use an eyeshadow primer, you can use a highlight. I like to use my brightening highlight with Cupcake, and I think it's a really nice base, so I do it. So prep your lids and let's dive in. First color I'm going into is, of course, Drift. I always put Drift on under my brows first, and I do this because I don't like to compromise once I start adding color to my lids, unless I need to, and then I'll just add more because... You can't go too far with Drift. It's so, it's the perfect champagne shimmer. The formula is really soft. It's a powder, but it goes on almost creamy. It's, it's just good. Just trust me and get it. Buy everything really, but buy Drift. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go into Bubba. It's this warm brown color, really pretty for summer. And I'm just gonna put this above my crease. Now I have hooded eyes. And so I lose every color I put on my lids if I put it just in my crease or below. Because once it rests, you can see this touches this. So we bring everything up high. We want this as a nice neutral transition color. And when you have hooded eyes, transition colors are your everything. They are the everything. They are what take a bold, beautiful eye and give it something extra because when you're just talking to somebody, you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what they're looking at is when you don't want to be talking to somebody, all they can see is that transition color. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's right, mm-hmm, yep, all right. And then when you're really annoyed and you look down at your drink and you stir it, then they're like, oh. But you always see the transition color. So, Bubba above the crease. I like using bold colors. I like putting pinks up here, but I always have something warm way up high. All right, have a good transition color. Basically, have always have a favorite transition color that can go with everything, and I think Bubba is one of those. Lullaby is another really good one. If you have brown eyes, the purples and the mauves are really good, but Lullaby is another really good staple transition color. All right. The next color I'm going into is cocoa. I'm gonna go on the top of my brush, tap off the excess. I'm gonna open my eyes and see where my corner is. And I am going to go with big circles off the lid, off the lid on the outer corner into that crease. But that's where I'm focusing it because I have hooded eyes, really digging into this hooded eye thing. I like to pull my colors out from under. I don't put it in my crease. I don't like putting a lot of color on my lid because you really, frankly, you don't get to see it very often. So I'm going into my crease and I'm pushing on that brow bone and it's just mixing together for this really pretty neutral dimensional look. I'm pulling it down under my lash line, but I'm making sure it makes it up almost like a big C. All right, going in with some more cocoa. I'm gonna go over here, open my eyes, big, I have to because I'm weird. And then I start circling real nice and big, really blending this out, mixing it with that Bubba color. Because again, Bubba's a transition color, not a standalone color. So we push into it and we mix it with all the pretty colors. So focusing this on the outside of the eye, not a lot on the lid. If it gets on the lid, no big deal. There's nothing wrong with that. And then I'm bringing it on that lower lash line and up, lower lash line and up. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into Peppa. And I'm gonna rub it in, put it on my finger, and that's what's gonna go on my lid. The whole darn thing. It's just this really pretty peachy pink low fleck shimmer that's so pretty. And that's what I specialize in, is making my eyelids pretty. I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna go into the crease just to kick off any excess with that Peppa color and to blend in with everything. Really simple. All right, let's get into our eyeliner here. Just gotta find it because I didn't pull it out ahead of time. Why don't I do that? Ooh, eyeshader brush. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need some mascara. Really needing that eyeliner. Oh, I did put it away. Okay, I'm gonna waterline. 
that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a small mirror here and I am gonna waterline just like that. We're gonna go up and over about three quarters of the way, not all the way. Up and over about three quarters of the way again, just like that. I am going to go on the edge of my lid here, not the waterline, just above it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of liner because I don't have a lot of lashes. And so this will one, help with my, mas my mascara looking like it goes all the way across, but I'm also going to flick up right here and I'm going to scuff into my lash line with my liner, flicking up for a mini cat eye. I'm gonna go into my eyeshadow brush. Now I'm doing this because I don't wanna close my eye up. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush, I'm dipping into cocoa, flicking it off, and I'm rubbing it in to my lash line and into that eyeliner. And this is going to give, because I put that little bit of black right here, it's gonna give the illusion once my mascara is on that I have an eyeliner going all the way across. But I'm just smudging and smoking out this liner with cocoa and it just gives the eye some lift. It's pretty. All right, let's do it again. But you see what the difference is? I haven't had to put a big amount of eyeliner on. I've waterlined, I've touched up and just smudged it and it just looks pretty and lifted. Pretty and lifted. That's what we do. Okay, flicking out on this corner and then pushing into that lash line and then flicking up from the corner to make a cat eye. Going into that eyeshader brush right here and I'm gonna tap into Coco and then I'm gonna scuff up that eyeliner. Just gonna scuff up that eyeliner and I do pull out at the corner here, just pulling it out a little bit and that's it. It's that easy. It's that easy. I really like this eyeshader brush. I will find a link and I will put it in the description. This is a great brush because it's short and stiff and so, but it's not rough on your lid. It's not a saint brush. I wish they had that brush. I wish they did. All right, going in with my mascara. I like a nice thicker mascara. I don't like the super liquidy ones. And I'm just going to wiggle at the root. And this is where I put that little bit here and then some over here and it just fills in between the lashes, clumps it all together, but this is what will make it look like. I have a full line of eyeliner over and it also will give the illusion that my lashes come in closer to my inner corner than they actually do. Don't have a lot of lashes. As I keep getting older, they keep leaving me. I have a lash serum that I'm working with. Gonna reload, definitely needing another bottle. All right, getting that lower lash line. We're gonna go to the other side. Mascara changes everything. <laughs> Mascara makes everything better. But I just thought this is a nice everyday look, especially when you're not going anywhere like me. Just gonna wiggle and pull, wiggle and pull. And filling up that lash line. As I mature with my lashes thinning out the way that they do, I like to fill up at the root and then I like to build up on the end. So you just flick the top just like that. And I just like to focus on the root first and then build out. There you have it. That's my look. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna clean up any fallout. Just like that, boom, boom, boom. Isn't that pretty? It's simple, it's easy, it's not crazy bold. It's a really pretty everyday look. All right, that's it. Have a good day.